Okay, welcome to the first of a couple of little tutorials on different themes. Now, what I've got here is my sandbox site with my imported content. It's just here as a placeholder, so no big deal what content you have. Um, I've gone ahead and played around with a variety of different themes here. So that I've got a whole bunch installed. and. Installing themes is much like when you sit down to install images. You can play with themes for hours and never find the perfect one, but ultimately you do come down to uh, making a decision on the one and, and sticking with it. Now, a couple of other things you need to know ahead of my um, tutorial here. If I go under Pages, I have created a new page and of course it's going to take a while for me to get there. I've got a new page and it's called um, Posts Homepage. And the reason I did that is that there are several times in these more sophisticated themes that they use a mixture of posts and pages throughout their theme content. So um, in order to demonstrate this, I did create a page called Post Homepage. Again, it's a page. And I've gone into themes and I've gone into customize. And this is something that you have to do frequently is tell the theme what to do about the static front page. So here I've got this set to a static front page, but notice I've selected the front page, but I've also selected that posts page, the posts home page. And again, there's a variety of reasons why I did that. Um, a lot of the fonts, uh, excuse me, a lot of the themes I'm playing with uh, do require some sort of post page um, from a design perspective. So that being said, that's what I've got there. The first theme that I'm going to play with and install is um, spacious. That's the one we're using for our course. And do you have to use this particular theme in your sandbox? No, but I just wanted to give you a quick introduction to at least some of the tools you can do there. All I've done is um, I've activated the custom, uh, excuse me, um, spacious, and I had previously made some changes to this. So I added a color in the background. I added a header piece here. All of these are things we're going to learn how to do in our course with the spacious theme. So you don't need to feel like you need to do that here. However, just to give you a, um, a taste of it, you can go to customize and you can go to design and you can select your default layouts, your primary color options, your color skin. I've chosen a dark one here, but I could flip over to the light one. Um, so let me back out of that. Um, I can choose a different header image. I could choose a background image. So if I wanted to select a background image instead of just that color, I'm not sure that it would really show up very well on here, but let me go ahead and put it in there. You can see there's really not much difference in there, but let me go ahead and save and publish that. So in any case, I would encourage you to play around with the spacious theme, although we will be doing that as part of our course. Let me go ahead and reload that. And there it is. Now, the other thing I've done, of course, is I set my background to be a, um, a fixed background. And again, that's something I will show you how to do. You can, within this theme, you can change the colors. You can change a variety of different things. I'm not going to go any further in this particular theme. Uh, I do want to show you some other themes. And I'll be right back. <laughs> 